two of the co-founders of Pour More. The other two co-founders who aren't with us today is Aaron Hahn and Melissa Gamusis. And uh, together we started this organization as a youth-led nonprofit organization that predominantly was working um, on arts-based community development in the Dominican Republic with youth and women. However, now we're also operating in Toronto doing some programs in our local community. We do international works in the Dominican. We also do local initiatives, so workshops with um, the different school boards, um, community groups, as well as we run our own local projects in the summertime. Um, like this year is our Youth for Human Rights summer project. And it's an art-based project where we're using the written and the visual word or symbols to ignite certain ideas about human and environmental rights. In the beginning, we all were like one and we were all different and we all came from different backgrounds and weren't able to talk but now when we do a sharing circle we're able to say what we feel, say if we're angry, say if we're sad, say if we're happy and ecstatic and everything and I'm so happy that like I was able to record in a studio. I never thought I'd be a rapper until I laid my first rhyme down in the walls, in within the walls of this program. And I wrote, and this, I, it was so wonderful. I even got to throw in one of my rights in, that right to be free and know that your life can never be wasted. You can change who you want to be. Our right that we're drawing is the right to rest and leisure and by people passing by and looking at it, I think they'll want to learn more about what that right means. Well, the community will be impacted a very big way because it's something new and different and I think they will like it very well because we put a a lot of work into it and we're already hearing that it's good so I think they will enjoy it. Yeah, people stop by and um, ask yeah. us what is our mural about, we explain to them so they really like it, so it's like get an awareness to them. And a couple of the little kids wanted to paint, paint with us so you know, we gave them a couple strokes. It's, um, it's exciting to be part of a wider community that pays attention to our human rights as human beings because I, I think I can speak on behalf of my sisters, my colleagues, that uh, our community development is focused on humans and what it means to be a human living on the planet Earth. So it's about human rights and environmental rights, just the right to life in general. So it's exciting to know that we're a small part of something much bigger than us. One person has the potential to change the world and if we all took that responsibility, then we could change the world.